So we're in Clovis, California. We just finished installing a Badger One uh, garbage disposal at the kitchen sink. And uh, so it's the in-sink aerator Badger One and a uh, one-third horse. This was provided by the homeowner. Uh, Lowe's or Home Depot probably purchased it through there, brought it out. Uh, it did not have a line cord on it, so we had one in our little bucket of tricks. And that's uh, by in-sink aerator, specifically for their disposals. So that's mounted <clears throat> tight in. We've run the disposal in. That's what it's supposed to sound like. So that's good. And then we just reutilized the existing plumbing. So <clears throat> we did put in the new flange that comes with it. The old uh, disposal was a GE. It's a different mounting bracket than in-sink aerator. Uh, so in-sink aerator, Moen, Delta, some of the other manufacturers, they all make the same kind of uh, mounting bracket, which consists of the strainer on the top. And then, of course, this mounting system on the bottom. And the reason they do that is so that you can take any manufacturer, you can uh, twist this uh, locking collar right here, uh, twist it counterclockwise, drop the disposal, put a new one in, and you don't have to change the uh, the mounting mounting flange or the basket strainer up here. So <clears throat> anyway, so brand new, brand new putty. Uh, this comes with the disposal, so that's mounted, disposal's mounted. The um, Everything else is existing. Um, we were out here the other day and set the faucet, so that's in good shape. So none of this is ours. The Schedule 40 ABS pipe that comes out, the P-trap, the uh, combination Y and 8th bend, all of this, not ours. We did replace this nut and this nut the other day. Uh, so those are ours, and, uh, you know, we weren't the part and the installation. <clears throat> then we put the new arm, uh, or actually existing arm, arm back on. Got a new mounting bracket, this little bracket with the stainless steel screws on either side, and a new gasket to mount to the new disposal. That way everything is good. We Additionally, we replaced the 7 8 hose that comes down from... Uh, the air gap because it was clogged and as opposed to taking it apart and going and trying to get all the debris out we just put a new hose in uh you know it's not expensive so uh that's reinstalled brand new hose there brand new garbage disposal and um <clears throat> there's only one part missing up here we, we we would have just replaced the air gap but we didn't have one in our bucket so um but the only thing that's missing off here is the cap at the top there's a little plastic piece that pops into place it snaps in those two large slots and it's got a little retainer drops in, snaps in place, and what it does, it helps divert the water down. If the something gets clogged in this line, what happens, um, not clogged, but actually the functionality of this is the water comes out of that small hole on the right, hits the bottom of the white cap, it's a diverter, hits the bottom of it and goes down the larger hole into the 7 8 hose. Well, that's missing, so if you ever have any trouble with enough water pressure, you know, it could blow this thing off of here. So uh, just buy a new air gap, <clears throat> brand new. Bring it out, pop the top piece out, put it in here, throw the rest of it away, and you're good. You do not need to remove this. So uh, that's not ours, that black gasket, not ours. Uh, someone's been here at some point, they come with a white little foam gasket. Uh, so I'd imagine they put it there because it was leaking, and that's fine. But that's not ours, that assembly's not ours, and installation's not ours, so we don't warrant that. But So garbage disposal is ours, outside of that, installation is done.